me go try to do it. But it was all sloppiness early. Maryland turns it over. Duke, Terrell Stokes, Keith Booth now off the baseball pass. Maryland 10 to 9. And then yet another Maryland turnover. Steve Wojciechowski with the steal. But here's the wearing down part, the dribbling clinic. If I just waste some time, go coast to coast real slow, the final score will be 12 to 11. In the second half, Maryland staying close amidst the crazies. It's Matt Kabarek to Sarunas, the yes man to Rodney Elliott. You know I can't say the name. Maryland up by one. Now it's a tie. Wojciechowski for went on down. Bang. He had 11 points. Duke by three. And the one that perhaps put it all away, Ricky Price. Duke by six. Next time, we haven't mentioned his name yet, Trajan Langdon wide open. You can't leave the 47% three-point shooter wide open because he'll then hit a three-pointer. Duke on senior night, 81-69. So Maryland won at NC State for three. Yay, Van Horn had 12 points, but they really didn't need him. More Utes, William Smith. That was not nice. The Utes the other way. Van Horn, Jeff Johnson, no defense. The 30 points off the bench for the Utes. Mr. Haskins is not happy. Second half, Andre Miller grabs the offensive board, then with the G, and then with another board, and then he gets it. 15 offensive boards for the Utes, and they roll 68 to 55. Mr. Haskins was not happy, but he had this remark on Van Horn. He's done all the damage he's done within a team concept. He compared Van Horn to Larry Bird. Certainly didn't compare anybody on his own team to Van Horn, as even with Van Horn doing almost nothing, the Utes, who Charles Williams not even on the trip. Unrevealed violation of team policy. Damon Flint dressed but did not play. Danny Fortson thus having to play about eight positions. Takes and throws an elbow and a basket. 38-29 over Marquette at the break. Second half off the turnover. Anthony Peeper. Unbelievable. Mr. Peeper and Marquette is down by four. Marquette is down by three. Eric Hutchins, the pride of Wisconsin. 50-50. to -50. Cincy, though. Danny Fortson, too strong, pretty move, and they win. Sorry, Mike Dean. Bearcats wrap up the conference USA. Let's find out. First half, Beavers down 11. Corey Benjamin with the ball fake. Oh, my, I ain't mad at you. UCLA met, led by as much as 17. Toby Bailey finds Jelani McCoy gently. Bailey had five assists. Second half, Beavers trying to get back in it. Down six. Benjamin rips a tray. He had 26 points. Beavers within three. Next possession, though. J.B. Bickerstaff with the misdemeanor steal. A hand to Jerome Baden for the lay-in. Beavers within one. They tie it on a free throw, but UCLA pulls away. Cameron Dollar the steal. A hand to Jelani. Jelani ripping stuff up. He only had six points, but they were nasty. UCLA wins it. 81-69. UCLA wins its sixth straight overall, ninth in a row over the B. Cougars, Chris Crosby shoots up the jagged little pill. Alanis Morissette will be proud of his six points. But Mike Bibby, the freshman, pushes it up to Michael Dickerson, beats the entire Washington State team for the lay-in. Mike, 13 of 22 shooting. Arizona up four. Donnell Harris working three or four different jobs. Misses the jumper, gets the rebound, rocks the rim. He had seven offensive boards. Then watch Harris. Follows the play, other end of the court, dismisses Carlos Daniels. Give that man a breather. He had a double double, 11 points, 12 boards. Second half, Davidson no. Dickerson is hardcore, is mobbed deep in a bad mood. Dickerson tied a career high with 32. Zona wins it 100 to 86. 21 of Dickerson's 32 came in the second half. Two minutes left. Jamal Lawrence from somewhere near Crenshaw Boulevard. He had 20. Ducks up one. 30 seconds left. Trojans up one. Stays Bozeman down low to Jaha. Wilson Jaha had 17 Trojans by three. 12 ticks left. Ducks down three. Roderick Rhodes inbounds. Throws it away. Jamar Curry keeps the ball in play. Kenya Wilkins to Rob Raymaker. Wide open for the tie. No. Jamie Curry rebounds. Gary Johnson strips. And the clock runs out. USC wins it and keeps its tournament hopes alive. 72 to 69. Jaha. Eastern Louisiana, Cedric Weber, coast to coast. Oh, blows the dunk. But he gets the ball back and then throws it down. Weber had 12. More from the Cougars. Thaddeus Delaney. Love that name. Thaddeus Delaney. No, but Weber was there. Looking more like Chris Weber on the dunks. More high flying. alley -oop to Delaney. And Charleston wins rather handily, 93-63. Trying to remain perfect in the poll muleys, and Bobby Knight was going after win 700. First half on the break, Sam Jacobson, and the Gophers up early. Then a lob inside to Courtney James. Nice pass, part of a 20-4 run by Minnesota, 
and they're up 15, but the Hoosiers come back. Neil Reed from three, cuts the lead to four. 10 seconds to go. Gophers up by three, a chance to ice it. Eric Harris misses the free throw. Indiana, one last chance. They get the ball to A.J. Guyton. Guyton milking the clock. The three off the mark, and they get a second chance as well. That one, too, no good. And Minnesota holds on, 75-72. Five of the Gophers' last six wins have been by three points. The Seminoles led by as many as 12 in the first half, but Tim Duncan brought the Deacons back. Hits the hook in the lane. Duncan's 2,000th point at Wake. They were down three at the break. Second half, Kerry Thompson abusing Jerry Braswell. Blows by him the sweet reverse. FSU was up four. Thompson working Braswell some more. Drive, lay in, and the foul. Thompson at 21. FSU was up to 46-44. Later in the half, James Collins, drive, hits Kirk Luckman for the layup. And it was 50-47, Florida State under two to play. Lamar Greer seals it, and Wake is shocked by Florida State, even at FSU. The sums out early in the second half. Tony Christie, the easy drive and jam. Shouldn't be that easy. How about D and up, Bobby Kremen says. Georgia Tech would respond. Matt Harpering, drive, pull up, jumper, hits in the foul. 36-33, Tech, Rick Barnes not enjoying. Over 17 seconds left now, under 17. Tech down three. Michael Maddox off the fake, no. Clemson tips it out, and ahead to Harold Jamison all alone, and Clemson jams home to win a 55-53 decision, ending a three-game slide as they head into the eighth. Also as a player, first half, Bearcats on the run. Reuben Patterson goes in and then finishes. Cincinnati up four at the half, but under 11 minutes left. Memphis down one and not for long. Cedric Henderson. That's a four-point play. He had 24 points in his last game at the Pyramid. Meanwhile, more of Memphis, the turnover, and then Harry Allen, the outlet, to Sunday at a bio. 22 for Sunday and a big victory for Larry Finch. The win improving Memphis's conference record to 10 and 4. They sing Oregon. Jamal Lawrence for the alley-oop. Oregon would lead by 16 in this game, but the Bruins would chip away on senior night. Senior Cameron Dollar with a steal. Ahead to senior Charles O'Bannon for the easy laying. John Wooden even sweating this one out. Bruins down three at the break. Second half, Bruins come out flying. Dollar to leaving it for Jelani McCoy. Nine points for McCoy. Then late in the game, Toby Bailey, who had 16 points, the feed to McCoy. And that's a title. Yeah, the fans celebrating at least a tie for the Pac-10 title. And you know what that means, a birth. Louisville trying some full court pressure, didn't work. Rayshard Allen ahead to Lawrence Nelson. Nelson at 17. Big problem from the line for the cards. Alvin Sims the miss. Dewan Wheat can't hit. Denny Crumb's team shot 4 of 20 from the free throw line. Green Wave exploding in that second half. Honeycutt the steal and then he'll throw it down. 23 for Honeycutt. The Wave may be riding into the NCAA tournament as Tulane wins it. And with that victory, the Green Wave improves to 11 and 3 in conference U.S. Oach. First half, FIU hanging tough though. Gene Durkett getting the steal. Durkin going all the way for the dunk. Golden Panthers led by six at the break, but Charleston would come back. Rodney Connor, the block, and then kicks it over to Stacey Harris, and Harris would just coast for the lay-in. He had 15 points all in that second half. Cougars go on a 12-2 run. Thaddeus Delaney on D, great steal. Looking up to Anthony Johnson, and the Cougars win it. Tough loss for the Panthers, but a sweet win for Charleston. Thaddeus Delaney adding 15 boards and five blocks. John Cress's Cougars coming back from 12 points down in this game to fulfill their Texas early. Chauncey Billups so talented with the steal. And then Billups running the floor and just finishing with a reverse jam. Colorado up by 11. Frustration for Texas and Coach Tom Penders. After the block by Fred Edmonds, Penders, watch him in that little rectangle, storming onto the court. He claimed a foul should have been called, but you can't do that. So Penders received the technical. He wasn't done. Had to get his money's worth. Then more from Colorado. Billups gets his shot blocked, but Edmonds would get the ball and hit Greg Jensen. That's a slam, a monster slam. He hit the ground so hard. 
that he was hurt, but he would be okay after it was all over. Buffs win it by the foot. First half, Stanford up four. One of Dickie V's favorite players, Brevin Knight, hitting the three. Stanford up seven. Second half, more Brevin. Great spin move in the feed to Pete Sawyer. Stanford wins it. Brevin Knight's 13 assists in this game, matching his school record for a fourth time. For coach Mike Montgomery, his 200th career victory. It's still, still to be determined for the upcoming tournament. And Look at the hospitality as Desmond Mason goes into Tim Floyd. First half, Dedrick Willoughby lost his wristband, cleans the floor off, and then what else is there to do but bury the three? Iowa stayed up 11 at the break, but in the second, Cowboys on a 13-zip run. Brett Robish off the glass. Cowboys lead by one. Under 30 seconds left. Cowboys up two. Joe Atkins, the drive, runs over J.C. Holloway. Which way is it going to go? The foul on Holloway. Adkins would make both shots, and the Cyclones lose again in Stillwater. 67-60. Nova getting going early. alley -oop. picture perfect to Tim Thomas. Then some bad ball handling here. Rutgers off the steal, but they give it right back. When Johnny McCrimmon's pass goes off his teammate's head, Eric Clark's head, and Alvin Williams picks it up and lays it in. Interesting play. Williams also showing he can shoot from the outside. Fifth three-pointer of the game. Villanova, they win by 10, and with it, they clinch the top seed in next week's Big East tournament at Matt LaSalle. Mike Gizzi, his third straight free throw to tie the game at 59. Four seconds left. The inbounds quickly to Rashid Bay. Nobody challenges him, and he hits at the buzzer to win. Incredible shot. Head coach Phil Martelli only needed two, but he'll take the three. And St. Joe's wins 62-59. 20 ticks left. De Terry Mays hitting from three-point range, so it tied. One last prayer for Austin Peay to win. But the last second heave by Joe Sibbett doesn't make it. We go to overtime. And in OT, we're tied at 79. Chad Townsend can't find it. Aaron Page comes out of nowhere for the tip. Racers with a two-point lead. Austin P down three, trying to tie. They go to Bubba. Bubba Wells, the go-to guy. Bubba. But the shot doesn't make it. I won't call Bubba boo. Murray State wins it by three. Meanwhile, Big South final. Charleston Southern Liberty. Rolando Arudinair scoring down low. The bucket and the foul. He had a game-high 24 points and was excited about it. Charleston Southern up two. Brett Larrick. He almost loses it, but gets it back and drains the J. Great shot. Great recovery. Charleston Southern earns its first NCAA tournament berth. So our playlist of David Bowie's greatest hits begins. Change. Brown may be asking uh, Shaquille O'Neal to suit up. Under 10 seconds left in the game, Arkansas down two. Kareem Reed right finds some room. The short J in and out. LSU holds on to win it. After the game, Nolan Richardson, Dale Brown meet. Brown leaving the LSU sideline for the last time. The win not only snaps Brown's longest losing streak at LSU, it put an end to LSU's 11. Tom Davis looking for the 500th win of his career. Hawkeyes on the break. Andre Woolridge to Ryan Bowen. Hoop and the foul. Gene Cady disagreeing with that call. That kind of day, though, for the Boilermakers. Guy Rucker stuffs Brad Miller. Or is it Guy Rucker? And hockey would be Guy. And he says, hey, don't try that again. Iowa wins 84-62. Any help out there? Guy, Guy, anybody, anybody? That's what I thought. Not only does the win improve the Iowa's NCAA chances, it will improve to 19-9 again. The five. First half, Thomas Kelly tries a three, three, but John Garavaglia there for the follow. Spartans by 11. Got that name right. End of the half, and Kelly this time takes it all the way, beating the halftime buzzer. Stayed up by 11 at the break. Second half, more the same. State running. Ray Weathers lay it in, and the foul. They go on to win. Easy, 68-49. John Garavaglia comes off the bench, did all seven shots. He finished with four o'clock running down. Pepe Sanchez from three, buries it. Finished with a game-high 17. Second half, UMass by four. Carmelo Trevioso turns it over, then makes the steal to Tyrone Weeks. And the jam, Minutemen by six. Under a minute left. UMass by three. Trevioso from three. Off the mark. Larry Kettner there to follow. And UMass wins 59-53 to and make it six in a row for them over Temple. Trevioso day and then Van Horn of course came out pumped he's good he hits the three he wasn't done dangerous when distant was Van Horn another three and then Van Horn he's wide open how do you leave him wide open even more from Keith the pump fake what else a three 20 first half points for the soon-to-be NBA player still first half Van Horn getting the board he's 1,000th of his career 
Lobos would have an answer, at least they'd Smith. attempt one. Charles Smith, the, the spider, oh, with a nice Thomas. pass to Kenny Thomas. Lobos only down two Kenny at the break Thomas. of the second half. Scary Ute up. moment. Van Horn running into Kenny Shields. Van Horn would be dazed, but he would return and help put the game away. Utah go on, goes on to the victory, 78 to the Rebels coach Bill Baino giving final instructions. Rebels within one with the ball. Tyron Nesby driving, coming up short. Tony Lane boards, but the shot is blocked. Now Baino storms the officials. He's calling for a foul to no avail, so Colorado State wins this one by a point. Fresno State, San Diego State, Jerry Tarkanian impersonators are everywhere. Fresno State up three, Chris Heron. Great pass to Rashawn Smith. Just part of Heron's big night. More of Heron driving and splitting the D for the floater. 35 points for the second straight game for Heron. Then Heron driving and hitting another floater. He's got the touch, and Fresno State wins the WAC Pacific. Oklahoma, Baylor, Sooners trying to pull away. Corey Brewer driving. Brewer can't hit it. Even Wiley slams it home. Sooners up by five. Now it's tied. Sooners taking control. Tim Heskett puts the Sooners up three, and they go on an 11-zip run. Heskett, another three. 18 points for him, and the Sooners go on to a victory. You know, one seed, Richmond trying to knock off ODU in the Colonial. Rick Edwards. The Spiders up six in the second half, but ODU too much inside. Odell Hodge returns the favor on Edwards inside. Now Dominion down four. Then Hodge the miss gets his own board puts it in and the foul Hodge with 25 and he pumped up Hodge and the Monarchs win 69 to three South Carolina number six senior day Jared Prickett announced and Kentucky seniors had never lost on senior day since 1964 however Leonard Johnson put South Carolina up by eight still in the first half Ron Mercer Oh, he's good. Hits the three. He had 18 in the first half. Kentucky down two. Second half. Nate Wilbur, no. William Gelman, yes. And South Carolina again extending it out to an eight point lead. Here comes Kentucky. Nazi Mohammed off the steal to Wayne Turner. Allen Edwards lays it up and in. Kentucky is up by three. They've taken the lead. And then Mercer. Next stop, NBA. Kentucky by two. South Carolina does not fold B.J. Mackey the runner in the lane we're tied at 54 and then more from the Gamecocks fundamentals Larry Davis hits lefty as he sliced the hoop South Carolina is up by four desperation time Scott Padgett throws up the brick Mercer is everywhere Kentucky is down by two one second left watch the inbounds play Mackey collides with Epps Patino says oh that's a foul that's a foul that should be our ball they did get it to be oh, uh -oh. Yeah, you can't say that on television, That's Rick. Not At least nice. not not around here. You can't. 72-66. Patino got called for a double technical tossed out of the end. Nebraska Huskers running. Tyron Lou oop me to Mickey Moore. Lou had six assists in the first half. But the Jayhawks, they know how to run. Paul Pierce, Rafe LaFrance, the lefty jam. 39-27. Kansas and Jacques Vaughn. Look at this move. Floating up for the reverse. That is sweet, Jacques. Jacques had nine points, five assists, a 15 point Kansas lead. As we suspend gravity for the moment, and you could see that Scott Pollard was in between four Huskers for the putback. Pierce with a miss. Jared Haas inside. A cluster of players are there, and he rolls it around. Rafe LaFrance actually got the hoop there. Kansas out rebounded Nebraska 56 to 29. And that's what you get. Duke club would not see senior day. Coach K pulled them off and then had them feeling it from outside. Steve Wojciechowski, then Jeff Capel says that spot works. And Wojo loved him in fish, loved him there. Duke up 29-21, 17 threes for Duke. And Antoine Jamison would take over. One of his 11 boards sticks it back for two of his two points, or two of his 33 points, I should say. And then Jamison working hard inside. He had 19 in the first half. Carolina up by nine. Second half, Carolina gets it rolling. Surge finds Jamison. Also got his 1,000th career point in this ball game. Next possession, Ed Coda comes up with the pick. Shamon Williams, I need rim cam. I need it live. I need it now. But Duke would not die. The man they call the Alaskan assassin, Trajan Langdon, finds Jeff Capel. Bottom. Duke was still alive. Wojo. Coming in strong. Watch Serge keep the feet planted. Zwicker takes the charge. We're going the other way, and there was much rejoicing. Carolina wins it 91-85. Tar Heels moving to a tie with Wake Forest for second place in the ACC. Trying to keep itself off the bubble. The Illini doing the hokey pokey. 
first half action. Brandon Hughes, that's a little showing off. 17 for him. Wolverines by four at the break. But in the second half, check out double wide trailer. Now that's not very nice. An elbow right into Victor Chukwadibi's face. He got a technical foul for his efforts and then got an earful Steve Fisher explaining the error of his ways. Matt Heldman, bottom. 13 for him, Illinois up by two. They were rallying big time and Key Juan Garris, 29 points for him, a 29-4 Illini run. Illini win it, 70 to 51. Garris first half, Dean sharing the wealth with others like Norman Nolan. Eight assists for Dean, a dunk there for Nolan. Virginia still down by one at the break. Harold's parents were happy, even though they didn't really show it that much. Second half, Maryland trapping defense for Ron Profit. He can't teach that either. 24 points. Maryland up by seven. Maryland leads slice to one Courtney Alexander. 16 points for him. 62-61 Virginia. They had stretched to five. Dean fouled Nolan again. 13 for Nolan. A 29-11 Virginia run. There was plenty of rejoicing as Dean goes out a winner. 81-74 the final. Five camps and double figures. Uh, Bennett Davison, Donnell Harris. Wildcats by five. Arizona would start to pull away rather quickly in this game. Michael Dickerson, bottom. 27 points for him. Wildcats up 52-33 at the break. Mark Sanford, he had a great day. Knocks it down, 28 for him. A little bit too much Wildcats. Jason Terry finds Dickerson, who finds Harris, rising and ramming. Arizona romps, 103-82 to the final. Mike Bibby with 20 and seven dimes. But Lenny Brown feeling some emotion as well. Xavier up by nine, trying to spoil Foster's last home game. Troy Manns got off. He had 30. Hokies down by eight. But then Gary Lumpkin, I believe he called bank. 17 for him. Xavier up by 11. And James Posey coming up with the steal. Brown breaking away. Layup's as good as a dunk every time. 81-72 the final. Brown finished up with 20. Lumpkin and Braggs with 17 apiece. Musketeers now. First half, it's Victor Page on the drive. Swatted away by Ruben Garcia. Ahead to God, Sham God. Poop me, Derek Brown. Friars with an early two point lead to the end of the first half. And Thompson not happy at all with Jahidi White after he got into it with a Providence player. We're tied at 30 at the break to the second half. Victor Page with a miss. Ya, ya, ja, the follow. But then again, White gets into it with Austin Crozier. Temper, temper. Boy, is at that point up 48 46. And then the Victor Page show begins. Sticks the triple and turn the page now because Georgetown wins at 67-56. Georgetown capturing the Big East 7 crown means they bubbleicious right now. Otis Hill and the Orange second half. Syracuse down 10 at the break. Hill drives, slams it home. Syracuse is back in it. Less than 30 seconds left. Syracuse down one. Todd Bergen misses two free throws. Yes, it's a Syracuse highlight. Orangeman with another shot. Jason Cipolla driving to the corner. Team down by two. Three for the win. Good night. Game over. Drive home safely. Pitt is a winner. 65-63. Huge loss for the Orange. They'd won 10 of their conference title game. Billy Donovan working it for Marshall. Under two minutes left. Sidney Coles hits the jumper. Marshall, 70-69. Ten seconds left. UT down one. Johnny Taylor floats. Can't hit. Chris Mims. Yes. UTC by one. Then Coles. Desperation time. No good. And this game is over. UTC wins at 71 to 7. Taking on William and Mary in the first half. Brian Dunlap. Odell Hodge. He had 23. ODU by three at the break. Tried. They keep it close. Randy Bracey and one. 22 for him, tied at 35. The Monarchs would pull away. Dunlap coming up with the steal. Reggie Bassett's running with him. Reward him. Thank you very much. Eight for Bassett. ODU goes on to win. It's 70 to 62. Hodge added four swats to his total. Out. Today's action, 14 seconds left. Southwest Missouri down one. Donnie Moore has a shot blocked. Coleco Bowie. Bowie! Baba Bowie. Baba, thank you. That's good. 60-58, Southwest Missouri State. Last chance, Bradley. Anthony Parker up the court. The three, no good. So Bradley, much to the dismay of our own Charlie Steiner, is knocked out. Southwest Missouri State, as you look at the bottom of the page, wins it.